In recent days, we've seen a series of rate cuts at central banks around the globe in response to anticipated economic slowdown from the coronavirus fallout. The RBA cut 25, the Fed slashed 50, and the Bank of Canada and BOE followed in the footsteps of the Fed. But today, we get what should be the most interesting decision as the ECB steps up with its response. Why so interesting? Well, of all the central banks mentioned, the ECB has the least amount of room to move, with the central bank already contending with negative interest rate policy. This will force Christine Lagarde to be more creative with her response, but at the same time, central bank creativity can only go so far, and the ECB president has already already appealed to local government for more aggressive fiscal stimulus measures. Where the ECB is at is at the heart of the problem the global economy is facing right now. That is to say, a problem of negative shocks to the economy with policy accommodation already exhausted and extremely limited in its capabilities. So what are the options in front of the ECB today? The broad expectation is that the ECB will respond with a 10 basis point adjustment on rates to negative 0.6%. This, of course, a much smaller adjustment than its counterparts, which also, interestingly enough, accounts for some of the yield differential demand for the euro of late. The market also expects the ECB to announce other measures, which could include higher exemptions for bank deposits so that banks' abilities to lend are not hampered, cheaper loans through the easing of the terms of the TLTROs, other alternatives including fresh funding facilities, and of course, an increase in asset purchases. But in the end, we believe the big takeaway is just how limited central bank response can be when the well has been all but dried up. We stress that we expect there will be a communication which underscores the importance of efforts from government to help pick up the slack and start carrying more of the load. That's all for now.